Fire danger concerns moving through the weekend. We look to increase the winds across the state and with low humidity, not a good situation. That's what we're finding towards southwestern Utah as we start things off in St. George. Sunny skies, a few high clouds around 61 degrees. Yeah, those winds not too bad right now, but they only look to increase and get up anywhere between 15 to 25 miles per hour throughout the afternoon. You get that persistent breeze with these uh, dry conditions. It's just not good. Cloudy skies here along the Wasatch Front. We're in the low 50s, noticing the winds also increasing anywhere between 10 to 15 miles per hour. So that's going to be a big focus for our fire danger with many counties across southern Utah under a red flag warning. We've got two storms to talk about. One, it's just a weak disturbance pushing through here throughout the morning into the afternoon across northern Utah. It's not going to produce much in precipitation. It will bring in the winds and allow temperatures to bump up ahead of that little front. It's a bigger storm that will look to really shake things up turning towards Sunday into Monday. That's got our attention here moving through the weekend. Whereas I mentioned the red flag warnings that are in fact across the central into southern Utah, which will remain in effect until tonight. However, there'll be additional red flag warnings issued for tomorrow and incorporate more counties as those winds will have a widespread impact for your Sunday forecast. Let's talk about the winds moving through today. Again, we see that enhancement throughout the afternoon, central, southern, southwestern Utah. We could see wind gusts closer towards 40 miles per hour. It gets a little breezy across northern Utah, but not too bad. Stronger winds expected again for central and southern Utah tomorrow, where we could see yeah, increased wind gusts upwards of 50 miles per hour as a front looks to move through come Sunday evening. Now, I mentioned that little weak disturbance tracking through. It's bringing in some clouds across northern Utah. Shower threat very minimal. This high pressure moving off towards the east. So we have this weak disturbance, but that bigger storm again on track to reach a Sunday evening. This one's got the cold air, it's got the moisture, and bringing widespread precipitation in the forecast heading into Monday and Tuesday. We look ahead though with the rain today. It's mainly a mountain shower, very light, or maybe a sprinkle near the Utah-Idaho border. Moving into Sunday, we don't see any increased threat until late to afternoon into the evening. Cold front on our doorstep overnight Monday and Tuesday. The showers hit and Decent amounts here. As you look there in blue, that's kind of a range between a half of an inch to an inch across northern Utah, even seeing some showers as we turn towards west central Utah Monday as well. But throughout Monday into Tuesday, pretty much everywhere in the state, you see that chance of rain. And then potentially a mixture of rain and snow Monday night through Tuesday morning as snow levels drop. But all in all, we're going to keep the snow accumulation up in the mountains from that second storm close to a foot and a foot and a half, maybe even a little bit more expected. This is great news to help out a little bit with our drought situation. It's dry throughout the weekend. It's cloudy though for northern Utah today. We're in the 60s, 70s through central Utah, a little bit more sunshine across southern Utah. You're in the 80s in St. George where the winds look to be stronger on Sunday. You get hit with the rain kind of a Monday afternoon with some scattered showers on Tuesday. Once that storm moves on, high pressure builds in and boy, Temperatures skyrocket into the 90s by next week, Friday. That is warm. Northern Utah, it's close to 70 degrees today. Clouds still tomorrow with some stronger winds. Then we get hit with the rain Sunday night through Monday. Mixture of rain and snow Tuesday. Also seeing a nice bump up in temperatures as we go from 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, close to 80 degrees by Friday. So we're all over the place with the temperatures, but we get some showers though Monday and Tuesday. So you get spring, a little hint of winter, and a taste of summer. You need your sweaters, your jackets, your shorts, <laughs> right. tank tops. Some sunscreen, and then that umbrella. spectrum. And a triple coat of hairspray, too. <laughs> be prepared for anything. Thanks so much, Breck. We'll be right back.